let's look at unlocking a repository. So when you run Rustic and do things such as backing up, Rustic will apply a lock to the repository. And this lock will be a file located in the locks folder. And what this means is that no other processes for Rustic can be done until it's done with the current process that it's working on. For example, if I run the check command with the read data, because I know that's going to take a long process, but then try to run the backup on that repository, we're going to get an error stating that the repository is locked and we're going to need to use the unlock command to unlock it. If I run this check again and then run rest of unlock with the remove all flag, this will remove the lock and then I can go back to my backup and run my backup successfully done here. Of course, since we removed that lock, the check command is now going to throw this error saying that it can't remove the lock because it no longer exists. So just keep that in mind. We can exit out of this. You can also manually delete the locks from the locks folder itself, but I don't recommend doing that. But if you must, now you have that option as well. To see if there are any current locks applied to the repository, you can use the list locks command. And if there are any locks currently applied to the repository, it'll list it here. And that's a look at unlocking your repository. In the next couple of sections, we'll be having a closer look at deduplication and compression.